Hello everyone, this is Panda here with a Remake This video. Today I want to talk about Shinobi 3, The Return of the Ninja Master, and give you three reasons as to why I believe this game should be remade. Now don't get me wrong, this is the eighth installment in the Shinobi series, and Shinobi's been on all sorts of platforms. However, I feel that it is this game that not only solidifies the best elements of the Shinobi series, but it also gives us a great perspective as to how masterful Shinobis really are. In other words, how badass they are. Anyway, Let's move on to the reasons why I feel this game should be remade. Reason number one. Story, story, and more story. Some of the most treasured video game series out there come coupled with great storytelling. Now, it is true that this game was not the first to give us the storytelling aspect of the entire series. That right belongs to the Cyber Ninja game, which unfortunately I was never able to play. That game gave us a good amount of text and backstory as to what was happening in the Shinobi universe. However, sometimes video games, such as this one I'm covering right now, do not need to have full paragraphs of text to tell a wonderful story. Despite the very minimalistic nature in which the story is told via pictures and titles, this game definitely hints at a past and a future for the Shinobi series as a whole. Obviously, one would be inclined to figure out what the plot is exactly, especially for new players who have no idea what's going on and this is their first game into the Shinobi series. But because of laziness and the easy, accessible internet at our aid, we too can figure out this plot via Wikipedia. In regards to the plot in the entire Shinobi series, my only complaint is the fact that the protagonist is named Joe. Joe Musashi. Joe. Like, honestly, what are we pandering to Americans now? So just think about this. Joe Musashi. That just does not roll off the tongue right. The second reason I want this remade is because, well, the music, the audio, it's perfect. I may not have played all of the Shinobi games before this one, but from the ones I have played, which is basically just Shinobi and the Revenge of Shinobi, I did not come across a game prior to Shinobi 3 that had unique music for the bosses. Plus, Shinobi 3 was one of the few games at the time that could really push the limit of the Yamaha YM2612 sound chip, which belonged in Sega Genesis consoles. If we've learned anything from Sonic Mania, then one can only imagine how amazing the soundtrack would be for a remake of this game. The last reason why I feel this game would do well as a remake or a reimagining of the game is because for at least the years 2018-2019, we've seen very positive reactions to remakes. According to VentureBeat.com, apparently the Spyro trilogy has done better than all the other past Spyro games combined. That's no small feat. Another example would be the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Apparently it's already surpassed 10 million copies and it's still going. And for one last example, more recently, the remake of Resident Evil 2 has almost outsold itself. That's right, almost outsold itself, the original. Now, when I talk about remaking Shinobi 3, I don't mean to remake it into a clone that is of Shinobi for the PlayStation 2. Don't get me wrong, that was a fine game in itself and it was fun playing. Although, if we take a look back at Sonic Mania and how that team re invented Sonic to basically play like the original Sonic just by having a new game be remade in the same fashion meaning 
to not change any of the aspects of this game in particular, especially the gameplay, I feel that a remake of Shinobi 3, and not calling it Shinobi 3 obviously, would do well. Obviously it would not do as well as the three remakes that I mentioned earlier, but then again, those titles that I mentioned, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, and Resident Evil 2, were way more popular than this game has, has ever been. However, if a remake of this game were to be done correctly, I believe that it could introduce a sort of niche genre to the gaming community. And because of that, I believe that the remake of this game and the Shinobi series as a whole would have the potential to receive high amounts of press and praise from gamers. Shinobi 3 The Return of the Ninja Master is one of my favorite titles on the Sega Genesis. And yes, it's true, I may be a little biased for it to have a remake because I love it so much. However, I really do feel that it would do well as a remake given the reasons I gave in this video. It's like people say, you have to try things at least once before you pass judgment on it. And it only took me one time to play Shinobi 3 to know just how great it was. So that's gonna be it for this video, but before I go, tell me, what games do you think deserve to be remade? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe, because why not, right? Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye bye